Good afternoon. All of Arizona is shocked and deeply saddened by the horrific tragedy that transpired this morning in Tucson. I have been in contact throughout the morning with law enforcement officials as well as Mayor Walkup and just a short while ago with the President of the United States. The President conveyed his heartfelt sympathies for our state and shared determination to ensure that justice is fully served. I am just heartbroken. Gabby is more than just a colleague. She is actually a friend. She has always been a noble public servant, and my thoughts and my prayers are with Congresswoman Gilford and her family, the Congresswoman staff and their families, as well as other victims of this senseless and cruel violence. I have ordered the flags to be, to be flown at half staff in honor of those who have lost their lives today. It's an unbelievable tragedy that the people of Arizona experience today. One of which, of course, in our worst nightmares, we would never could have imagined would have taken place. Uh, I must tell you that a lot of information has been provided uh, to all of you. Uh, we are in constant uh, contact with some officials and we will be kept abreast and we will do whatever it is that is necessary for us to do. But I will say that I ask the people of Arizona, I ask the people of America to keep the victims and their families in their prayers and that uh, pray for their recovery and pray that we never again in Arizona have to ever experience a tragedy like this ever again. And I would be glad to Can answer. Can you talk a little bit more about your relationship? We called her a friend. Can you talk about how, how far back you go and the last time you saw her all that? Um, Gabby served in the Arizona State Senate when I was uh, um, in uh, the Secretary of State's office and um, I've grown to, to love her and respect her. And certainly as uh, campaigning statewide, as she campaigned in the southern part of Arizona, I uh, campaigned in the same areas, but not only during the campaign effort, but certainly just going down and speaking to different groups like the Red Cross or uh, Davis Mothin Airport or library causes. Gabby always showed up and we were always and often uh, appearing together on the same stage and she was a genuine, uh, uh, nice, uh, kind, uh, hard-working servant uh, for the people of District 8. Always courteous to everyone. Um, she never really uh, played partisan politics. Uh, she was serious about what she did and she was always um, concerned uh, uh, with what was good for her district. And so you have to admire uh, someone like that. She was a very gracious and is a very gracious uh, uh, elected public servant. Governor, are you worried how this makes Arizona look? I think that it is uh, something that certainly uh, a state would not like to have happen um, in, in, in their state or, or uh, tragedies happen and certainly we know that uh, people should be held accountable and, and responsible for their actions. Um, uh, it, uh, it certainly doesn't show favor on the state of Arizona but we have a lot of good decent people here as this is one of those horrible tragedies um, that we face. And uh, we need to uh, um, move on and make sure that those kinds of things don't happen. Governor, will this change how you meet with your constituents? It's interesting. Um, I've always been sort of a kind of person that always was with the people. Um, I had an incident when I served on the Board of Supervisors in Maricopa County when we had a, a shooting take place when one of our supervisors was shot. And at that time, it was a realization that these things can happen, that we have, uh, for whatever the reasons, disturbed people 
um, in our communities that sometimes do terrible, violent things. And sometimes those of us that serve in elected positions are the target. So at that time, I was a little bit concerned, but I wasn't afraid. I was not afraid. Um, but of course, security was beefed up. And as we know, security was beefed up down here because I've always believed that government ought to be open and people ought to be freely to be able to access um, the facilities. Um, I think it's important, but I would assume under the circumstances that we've all seen today, the security in some manner uh, probably will be increased. You said the president conveyed his sympathies. What did you have a chance to tell him? Well, basically um, the same thing. He was very, very um, uh, gracious. Uh, it was totally nonpartisan. It was not political. He wanted to assure me as the President of the United States that whatever that they could do, uh, they would send their resources, they would be there for whatever was needed, that they would be uh, working with my team. I made sure that all the numbers were conveyed uh, to their staff and that we would be posted. He indicated that uh, the FBI would be doing the investigation and that um, uh, we would be in, in touch. I told to him, you know, I, I tried to tell him and explain to him what a horrible tragedy and what a sad, sad day uh, this is for not only Arizona, but for America. Governor, have you spoken to anyone from uh, Representative Gifford's staff or family or circle down there? I, I have not. I have spoken with uh, uh, Mayor Walkup, who has spoken with, I believe, uh, Congressman uh, Gay, um, Gifford's uh, father. And uh, he has assured me that he too would keep me posted. He's kind of have, uh, on hands uh, down there at TMC. And I spoke to the speaker, but I, I, I have not. Governor, we have not been able to reach them. Governor, will this have any impact on the event scheduled out here on Monday and the delivery of the state or the state or the um, at this point in time, we have discussed that. Uh, you know, we had been down here. We had just begun the first 10, 15 minutes for the activity tomorrow when we got news that this awful tragedy had happened, so we just shut everything down. And uh, uh, speaking with the with the speaker, I think that uh, this afternoon and early tomorrow morning, we'll, we'll determine just exactly uh, what direction uh, we'll be going. Thank Did you, you ever Thank work you. with Ms. Giffords on any specific legislation? Um, Howie, I think that I have. I, I can't think of it right now in regards to it, but I remember being on the floor with, 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 with Gabby talking about legislation and just as when I became a Secretary of State. And so it would be um, something I'd have to go back and look at my records. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. working in the House. You were rehearsing? Just working at, no, we were working on, this, on the logistics in the State House. So the decision about Monday is going to be made tomorrow, Paul? A visibly shaken Governor Jan Brewer of Arizona there talking about her personal friend, Congresswoman Gabby Giffords.